this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a connected installation using a gateway kit, a connected power outlet module, a connected switch, a wireless switch. Before any work on the electrical installation, it is vital to cut off the power at the main switch, for safety reasons and to ensure optimum installation. Let's start with the gateway. The gateway allows to create the radio network and the Wi-Fi connection of your connected installation. It should be installed in a location where it can pick up a good Wi-Fi signal. To install the gateway, you need one one-gang flush mounting box, one two-module support frame, one gateway taken from the gateway kit, and one two-module plate. The connected gateway is flush mounted in a one-gang box, which should be at least 35mm deep. Connect the wires to the screw terminals, the neutral wire and the phase wire. Mount the gateway in its flush mounting box. Next, let's install a connected power outlet. To install the connected power outlet, you need one two-gang flush mounting box at least 40mm deep, one three-module support frame, one traditional socket outlet, one connected power outlet module, and one three-module plate. The connected power outlet module allows you to create a connected power outlet. It is wired to a traditional socket outlet and flush mounted in a two-gang box at least 40 mm deep. Connect the phase wire to the phase terminals of the module. Connect the neutral wire to the neutral terminals of the outlet. Connect the neutral terminals of the outlet to the neutral terminal of the module. Connect the black wire to the phase terminal of the outlet. Connect the earth wire to the earth terminal of the outlet. Mount the connected power outlet in its flush mounting box. Next, install the connected switch. The connected light switch requires prior installation of the gateway pack, so it can control lights locally or remotely via the home and control app. The connected light switch is supplied with a bleeder, which should be wired up as close as possible to a lamp to ensure optimum operation of the light. It controls all types of lamps from 5 to 300 watts, including LEDs. In this case, use dimmable LEDs. To install the connected switch, you need one one-gang flush mounting box, one two-module support frame, one connected switch and one bleeder, one two-module plate. It is flush mounted in a one-gang box 35 mm deep. It can replace an existing switch. Connect the wires to the screw terminals. Connect the phase wire to the phase terminal of the mechanism. Connect the cutoff phase wire to one of the two other terminals of the mechanism. The connected light switch is wired exactly like a traditional switch. Connect the bleeder to a bulb on the lighting circuit to be controlled. A single bleeder is sufficient to ensure optimum operation of the lights on a single lighting circuit. Refit the suspended unit and fix a dimmable lamp before continuing with the installation. As with the switch functions, all connected wired roller blind controls are installed in the same way as a traditional roller blind control. You have to add the neutral wire. To finalize the installation, you need to configure the home and away wireless master switch supplied with the gateway kit. This will allow you to open the network. To complete the master switch, you need one two module plate. Turn the power back on. The LEDs light up with a steady red light. The home and away wireless master switch will allow you to configure products to work together. Remove the protection tab from the battery. Press briefly at the bottom of the home and away wireless master switch in order to activate it. The LED blinks green and goes off. The LED on the gateway also goes off. Move close to the connected gateway and press the middle of the home and away wireless master switch. Hold down until the master switch LED lights up green, then release. The home and away wireless master switch LED goes off. The LEDs on the installed wired products light up green. The network is open. Add a wireless switch. Remove the protection tab from the battery. Press briefly at the bottom of the switch in order to activate it. The LED blinks green and goes off. Keep pressing on the bottom of the wireless control. Tap three times on the product you wish to control. The LEDs of both products blink quickly in blue, then light up briefly steady in blue before going off. The LED on the wired product reverts to green. Short press in the middle of the master switch and the LED blinks three times and all products switch off their LED. 
All products can be controlled by the Home and Away wireless master switch. Place the stickers provided on the back of the wireless Home and Away master switch. Finalize your installation with your preferred finishes by clipping plates onto all the products installed. Your connected installation can be managed remotely using the Home and Control app. The connected installation can be controlled via a voice assistant, such as the Google Assistant, Amazon Alexa or Apple Siri.